Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel for another video. I know I've been telling everybody that I had some paint ups coming up and today I deliver. So today I'm going to bring you Weapon X, Wolverine, Logan, whichever one you want to call him, all printed up in quarter scale and painted. Now this Wolverine was designed by Alvardo Stuardo and I will have a link below in the description for him. Uh, this is a very dynamic museum pose for Wolverine. Uh, very spot on. The details are amazing. The textures in the suit are amazing. Go over and check out Alvardo and uh, look at some of his previous work and he's got some amazing stuff coming up. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so first thing on Wolverine, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the brown on the boots. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that and get that knocked out and get it out of the way. Now, I'm not doing anything fancy. I am just using this basic flat brown from uh, Vallejo. All right, so for the light colors here on the suit, for the pants here and up underneath on the torso here, is kind of like a yellowish tan color. And I'm leaning more towards the tannish color uh, simply because it looks a little bit better to me and a little bit more realistic. And I really, really want to make this, um, just the colors stand out real more natural than more of the comic side. So I'm gonna kind of meet in the middle here and I'm gonna actually use this tan yellow. All right, so now I'm going to lay the base down on the skin tones and I'm using my own mixture for that. All right, so once I get the skin tone on, I'm going to start adding some a little bit of highlights and accents to the skin itself. And I'm going to use pretty much my own little mixture here. This is a little uh, pinkish brown. So I'll be using a little bit of this khaki brown mixed with that pink flesh tone and we'll be doing some shading on the muscles and on the skin tones. And now on the head I'm going to use that same tan yellow on the top of the cowl here. So now for the legs and part of the torso that I painted the tan yellow, I'm going to lighten it up on some highlights with this right here. All right, now that we got the highlights on, we're gonna do some deep shading on this. And I'm gonna use this khaki brown uh, for the uh, legs and for the part of the torso. A lot of people like going a real deep dark brown on the shading, but I like to be a little subtle on this. And um, let's check it out. Alright, so we're going to start painting the parts of the suit flat brown. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and paint the eyes and the teeth an off-white. All right, so now that we got the eyes and the teeth 
all painted we're going to go ahead and paint the inside of the mouth a pinkish red And now that we have the mouth and teeth all done and the eyes, it's time to start on the black of the cowl. All right, and now that we have the head finished, I'm going to take this gloss varnish right here and varnish the eyes and the teeth and the inside of the mouth. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wash on the sides of the boots here just to bring out a little bit of that texture into the boot. All right, and now we're going to paint the belt black and we're going to paint the buckle on here a gun metal gray. All right, so now we're getting ready to do some shading and do some highlights on the torso and on the bottom legs. And I'm gonna use this flat brown right here for a little bit of the highlights in the peak areas. And I'm gonna use some basic black and dark brown mix for the shading. All right, so I've got all of the claws on these alligator clips here because I'm getting ready to paint them a gloss black. And then we're gonna use the Alcad Chrome. So I wanna give a big shout out to hippiecrafter.com. They sent over some amazing products of these paint and art wipes here, help clean up a lot of stuff uh, you know me, I'm messy as hell. And uh, these soft pastels have been really good in helping me with shading. And they also got some really good acrylic paint sets, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff over there for your art supply needs. Hippiecrafter.com, there is a link below in the description. Go over and check them out and support small business. All right guys, so the base I printed in FDM because it's solid, it's a nice solid piece. I could not fit this whole big thing in one piece on my resin printer. However, I ran into a problem. And you could probably tell by looking at it here and the ADHD has been kind of kicking in, but the X here is not symmetrical. I was pretty bummed out. I mean, the spaces are a little bit wider than here. And to me, that's just gonna get on my nerves. So what I did instead was I just basically flipped it over and painted it kind of a hammered finish uh, I mean, it's a museum pose and I'm just, I don't know what to do really with the base right now. So I printed it or I painted it a uh, hammer type finish out of a spray can. And I'm going to use this for now. I'm probably going to use like put a little rust spots on it just until I can figure out what I'm going to do with the base. I thought about putting some rocks and snow and all that stuff on there, but this is kind of last minute. So this is what I'm going to use for the time being. So, uh, Let's kind of weather it up a little bit so it's not so flat looking. So what I'm going to do on this right here is I wanted to paint it up like it's kind of a metallic type of base, uh, but I'm going to use like this dark rust right here, put a little bit of weathering effect on it. And if you got these little sea sponges right here that come in a pack, these are great to use because this is what I'm going to apply it with. And let's get started. Next, I'm gonna use a little bit of this chrome paint right here to do a little bit of weather chipping on it, a little bit of flaking and stuff on the metal. And then once we do that, then this model is done.
All right, everybody, I hope you got something out of this video today. Don't forget, this file is available for purchase. Look in the link below for the artist, Alvardo Stuardo. And I would like to give a huge shout out to my patrons. Without this, this probably wouldn't be possible. And hey, we do have quite a few new patrons this week. The first one is Ty. Michael Castillo. Ghost Rider Hobbies Jim Zaviltis. Steve. Thomas Clark. And Derek Bess. Thank you guys so much for the support. And if you would like to become a member of the Patreon, there also is a link below in the description. Come over and join. Get access to the private Discord. And don't forget, if you don't want to join the Patreon, you can always support the channel by just simply watching the videos. And as always, get out there and create something. Don't forget, print, prep, paint, repeat. And until the next video, we'll see ya. So yeah, guys, coming up very soon, the biggest statue diorama I have ever done. Over 16,000 grams of resin, and I'm still not done. Holy crap. <laughs>